New tonight, a major development in a murder mystery from last year. Criminal charges were announced today in the double murder case from last November. The case left many on edge. Grand Rapids police have now arrested this man, 19-year-old Casey Harmon Jr. The police chief says they've been able to tie the murder weapon to the one Harmon Jr. had on him. Headed down the path now where we're going to be able to provide some closure and justice for the families of uh, Malika and Anaya. Anaya Rodriguez and Malik Eubanks were left for dead in this Burton Heights neighborhood almost a year ago. Their bodies left on the side of the roadway. Chief Winstrom adding the evidence they collected points to Harmon Jr. Biggest ev evidence from that is probably that, you know, we have images of him with the murder weapon. Court records show Harmon Jr. and Malik knew each other. Documents also show that the suspect made derogatory comments about Malik. I'm not ready to share exactly what the connection is between the offender and victim, but I don't believe they're strangers. This wasn't a case of random violence. Harmon Jr. faces two counts of homicide and two counts of felony firearm. We're talking about miles long crime scene where uh, so much forensic evidence to review and go through. Winstrom explains the work by dedicated detectives led to a break in the case. And a lot of cooperation from the community and a lot of forensic evidence to put everything together. Now, there was a third body found the same day in the same neighborhood. 32-year-old Dario Yarber was shot and killed roughly two blocks north of the first two victims. Not ready to come to the point where I say whether or not these two cases were associated with each other. But I am ready to say that uh, I'm very optimistic that we're going to find justice in that case as well. Officials are still looking for information in Yarber's death. Anyone with info is asked to call police or silent observer.